Hello, everybody. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca, our 15th lesson on air law, Canadian aviation regulations. Let's talk some, about some operational and equipment requirements that we need on board. So here's another obvious one. Proper operational emergency equipment must be on board. Well, no kidding. Here's another one. Operational equipment must meet airworthiness standards. Yeah, well, obviously. Um, but a watch and a flashlight are excluded. Well, because th there are no airworthiness standards for a watch. Okay, now we're on to some important things. Requirement for aircraft. We do need normal and emergency checklists. So you can develop those by yourself or just uh, photocopy them from your pilot operating handbook. If you're IFR or VFR over the top, you need current charts. And uh, if you have a GPS, you need a current uh, GPS database. You do need a fire extinguisher, a timepiece, like a watch, a first aid kit, and a flashlight if you're operating at night. In our last lesson, we had a question about survival equipment. So here's some of the information. Uh, you need to have sufficient survival equipment for the number of people, geographic areas, and season. You don't need it if you're within 25 nautical miles and there's a radio, and you're in an area and time of year where survival is not jeopardized. So let's say you're flying in Southern Ontario, you're doing a flight from Brampton to Oshawa. Well, you're flying over Toronto, pretty sure if you go down somewhere between there, you're going to be picked up in, oh, let's say five minutes by the police or ambulance. However, you're doing a flight from, let's say, Thunder Bay to Moosonee, well, there is a large amount of terrain that somebody will not find you in for a long time. Let's say it's winter time, you have to have the proper equipment. That means things like sleeping bags, things like making a fire. Whereas if you're flying in some marine area, well, you're going to make sure that you have maybe like a desalination kit. Here's another one of these questions. You need a life preserver. Um, if you are beyond gliding distance of land or more than 50 nautical miles. So flying over water, Lake Superior, the ocean, you need to have a life preserver. This also means when you're in a float plane, keep in mind you're landing or taking off on water, you need a life preserver because, well, you're going to be flying over water. That's guaranteed. If you're flying more than 25 nautical miles from shore, you need a life uh, raft. Here's a quick review. Uh, when power-driven aircraft, you have to have checklists, current charts if IFR or VFR for the top, the current uh, GPS database, fire extinguisher, timepiece, flashlight, first aid kit. You need to have proper survival equipment unless you are within 25 nautical miles and there is no chance of survival being jeopardized. You need a life preserver if you're beyond gliding distance of land or 50 nautical miles, and you need a life raft if you are 20, more than 25 nautical miles from shore. Okay, we have a couple sample test questions, taking into account uh, seasonal climatic variations in geographic area, private aircraft and helicopters flying VFR 25 nautical miles or more from an aerodrome or operating base may require a specified emergency supplies to be carried. So that's correct, let's keep reading. Functioning radio of two-way communication, nope. C, the aircraft is multi-engine when passengers are carried. No, not at all. And D, all of the above. Well, we already eliminated B and C, so that's not correct. So correct answer A, you need emergency supplies or a survival kit. What safety equipment must be available to each person on board a single engine aircraft, which is taking off from or landing on water? A, an approved life raft. B, an approved life preserver. C, a signal flare. D, a signal mirror. So we discussed this. You do need a life preserver a life jacket, PFD, whatever you want to call it. B is the correct answer. That concludes uh, this lesson, Air Law 15. Uh, we'll see you at our next lesson. Thanks.